a woman must delete photographs of her grandchildren that she posted on Facebook and Pinterest without their parents' permission, a court in the Netherlands has ruled. She should have taken them down when her child asked her to, it's ridiculous that this even had to go to a court. This is a great way to never end up with any more pictures of your grandchildren. My dad is frustrated that I no longer post pics of his grandkids, but I always ask them if it is okay, and after they got to be tweens they always shoot it down so I respect their wishes. Relatives love to take all sorts of weird liberties and cross lines without thinking about the effects on others. Examples from my own mother. Asterisk on my birthday, loves to post explicit accounts online of my home birth, or describe it to strangers or friends of mine, despite me asking for my entire life that she stop. Asterisk posting publicly about my legal efforts to sue for custody of my children from my ex-wife which were supposed to be kept quiet until she was served. Asterisk publicly announcing the death of my current wife's mother a woman she had met twice before my wife had done so herself. Asterisk regularly copying and pasting private Facebook posts and their entire comment threads, including names, as public posts on her wall. Asterisk going to my daughter's high school concert, finding and walking up to the guy she had a crush on, and telling him that my daughter had shown her pictures of him. Kids should have some semblance of privacy at least. This is the best TL, DR I could make, original, HTTPS colon slash slash www. BBC. Co. UK slash news slash technology 52758787 reduced by 73%. I'm a bot. A woman must delete photographs of her grandchildren that she posted on Facebook and Pinterest without their parents' permission, a court in the Netherlands has ruled. The case went to court after the woman refused to delete photographs of her grandchildren which she had posted on social media. I think the ruling will surprise a lot of people who probably don't think too much before they tweet or post photos, said Neil Brown a technology lawyer at Decoded Legal. Extended Summary, HTTP colon slash slash NP. Reddit. Com slash r slash auditalder slash comments slash go zero nyw slash a underscore woman underscore must underscore delete underscore photographs underscore of underscore her slash FAQ, HTTP colon slash slash NP. Reddit com slash r slash auditalder slash comments slash 31 b 9 fm slash faq underscore auditalder underscore bot slash version 2 0 2 4 8 9 8 4 8 tl drs so far feedback http colon slash slash np reddit com slash message slash compose 2 equals percent 23 auditalder pms and comments are monitored constructive feedback is welcome Top keywords, post carrot hashtag one ruled carrot hashtag two woman carrot hashtag three court carrot hashtag four photos carrot hashtag five. What kind of a person values their social media profile over their own daughter? Good grief. My sister in Australia, sent a picture of my baby daughter, 2004, to a magazine competition without my permission and won a high-end camera. I only saw it because the same magazine was printed in New Zealand. She couldn't understand why I was so angry. Duh. TBH I wish this law existed across the board. I have an aunt who posts the same 10 pictures of me and my sister as a little kid like every fucking day so my Facebook is just full of pictures of me when I was 7. I try to go through and block them and delete them but Carol is a ruthless bitch. My aunt had a head butting with her brother over something like this. He had taken her kids to the pool and posted pictures from the day on Facebook. When she found out pictures of her kids in swimsuits had been put on social media she was livid and demanded they be taken down. Uncle S, I don't like him, for several reasons, kept arguing about it and refusing to pull the pictures. Refused to accept that they aren't his damn kids to make that decision with. I think parents have the right to overrule grandparents' FB posts that include photos or other information about the children. I can see a lot of people here have never read the horror stories on r slash just no mil. A lot of women like to use pictures of their grandchildren to either play a grandparent of the year on social media or they're using them as leverage against their own children, or their child's partner. 
like I can do whatever the hell I want. Grandmother Trump's mum any day. Is there a controversy here? Of course the parents have final say over something like this. It's gonna be an awkward Christmas. Previous CPS worker here. In the US grandparents have no legal rights over their grandchildren. Only the bio parent or legal guardian has any legal right concerning children. Grandparents are always surprised when we tell them this. Edit, in Texas. Family code is specific to your state. What's the point of putting the pics on Pinterest? Like why? Probably an unpopular opinion, but I don't really agree with posting pics of kids on social media if they are too young to understand consent. I think of all the times my friends have taken pics of Slash with me to post online and they let me know if the the pic is okay. Or sometimes I just don't want my pic taken and I remove myself from the shot. I've seen some pretty interesting photos and posts of kids and I'm sure in 10 to 15 years they might not have wanted them out there, a kid can have a digital profile a decade long before they're old enough to even have a Facebook profile. It's kinda like how you should never share those Facebook or Reddit missing persons posts unless it's strictly from the police department, who knows if you just helped some stalker out. Life pro tip, when you are the grandparent, you have the privilege of loving on, spoiling, and teaching your grandchildren while enjoying them. However, do not forget that you are not the parent, and are now in the back seat with the kids. Mom and dad make the decisions, not you, and if they say something isn't okay, then it isn't fucking okay. These are not your kids, and you are no longer on the throne. Step off, do what the parents ask. If you find yourself in an argument with the parents where they are getting angry, Almost certainly you are the asshole who is trying to assert you are the parent when you are no longer in that role. It's called servant leadership. It's very different than just thinking you get status for yourself and everyone is your entertainment to make you happy. Every grandparent should learn about it. Source, my parents have not learned that lesson yet, and my kids are damn near grown. I'll just keep on embarrassing them and confronting them as much as I have to, but damn what a stupid way to get your daughter-in-law to stop inviting you to things or traveling with the kids to see you. The only solution is to cancel Facebook. Some, please do it. I'm not going into detail about it but I continue to ask my parents to stop posting my kids pic on public setting. Ended up just deleting FB altogether. This is one of the reasons I got off Facebook. Got tired of people tagging me and posting pics of me I never wanted posted in the first place. I am going to have such a hard time with this and my mill, I already know. I am not super active on Facebook, but mill is. I'm pretty private about what I share there, and was not planning to share the news of our pregnancy on Facebook at all. I've got co-workers and distant family members on Facebook who I don't want to know about my pregnancy. Well. Mill has posted about or alluded to me being pregnant multiple times, even after being asked not to, she's posted our ultrasound on her own Facebook page and tagged us, annoying. My partner tells her repeatedly not to share anything, and she does it anyway, because she gets likes for her posts. I know this because when I've asked her to take down posts, she'll say shit like, but it got over 50 likes. I fucking hate it and I feel like she's using my pregnancy for stupid useless internet points. And I know she'll continue to do the same once our babe is here. No one should put pics of kids on the internet. It never leaves. You're creating a digital footprint of kids that lets their entire life be tracked. Good, people, or parents of small ones, should be in control of what gets posted online of them. Makes sense honestly. Grandmas have a tendency to add strangers to their profiles, and posting pics of their grandkids could have some unexpected consequences with weirdos.